Now that you have learned about the API first approach, let's delve into the developer experience. In this fast paced economy, innovating or enabling innovation is key to success. Let's take the mobile phone industry, for example. In 1973, the first call was made on a mobile phone from Martin Cooper, a senior engineer at Motorola calling a rival telecommunications company. The phone itself weighed over two pounds and was as big as a brick. You only had 30 minutes of talk time and charging the brick took over 10 hours. 10 years later, Motorola released its first commercial mobile phone offering 30 minutes of talk time at a cost of $4,000. You can bet there were no games to be played on that phone. Fast forward 20 years later to the early 2000s when the first smartphones became available. The new smartphones not only allowed phone access, but also serves as a mini computer to enable internet access, email, and text. Apple is already on its 10th generation of smartphones. With the increase in demand for innovation, enterprises need to engage top developers quickly with a streamlined experience. But how do you engage? The first step is to publish great API products designed from the outside in with the needs of the consuming developer. Using the customer journey and personas technique, you design API products that will make it easy for developers to understand and use. The next step is to attract and engage developers to build your applications. Your work has just begun. So let's talk about great API developer experience. Some of my customers think that building a REST-based API and delivering the product to the application developer will do the trick. But how will the developer, who may or may not be closely aligned with the organization, know how to use the API product? This is where the developer portal can provide that great storefront experience in order to drive developer adoption. There are three tenets to creating a great developer experience. One. Note that developers are your customers. Most companies have never viewed developers as customers, but in fact, developers are the target audience for your APIs. Two, your APIs need a storefront so that developers can discover, learn about, and adopt your products to create innovative applications. Three, the developer portal is the storefront for your API products, and developers are the consumers of the products. There are many different types of API consumers and they have a variety of needs. Most enterprise companies have needs for a single online location for the API catalog aimed at internal developers. For my customers, if they build the API products to be externalized to partners and other developers, they find great benefits with reusability of the API products originally aimed at their internal developers. Having a single storefront for all developers encourages design for reuse, reduces administration, and presents one corporate image to all developers. Here's a quote from one of our leading customers who have seen benefits from their unified developer portal. If I were to summarize key learnings from HP's experience, it would go like this. First, make it easy for developers to find APIs. A unified developer portal provides a one-stop shop making it easy for developers to discover APIs. Two, provide easily discoverable and understandable APIs. This means your APIs must be well-documented and providing your APIs in a RESTful design is recommended. Number three, ensure ease of onboarding. Allow developers to self-register and obtain an API key. And four, minimize the time required for a developer to create their first application. We call this speed to first hello world, and this entails proper documentation, self-registration, and the ease of obtaining a key so that the developer can begin creating their application. The Apogee Developer Portal provides those experiences out of the box with a catalog of APIs, API documentation, and the ability to provide self-service to onboard developers and engage. In the next few courses, we will dive into best practices for engaging developers, developer portal strategies, driving adoption, and the role of the developer evangelist. I hope you learned a little about the developer experience. Now stay tuned for best practices on developer engagement. Thanks for watching.